Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Donald Martin. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Jane Schaefer writing strategy. My central question is how do I write an effective paragraph? So, excuse me. The prompt. Before writing anything for your assignment, you have to know your assignment, okay? So you want to read the prompt, and you have to ask yourself, what exactly am I being asked to do? Okay? Response to literature writing. Writing that discusses what is, the, uh, what is a value in the work of literature. Again, you have to know what it is you're writing about. So, again, before writing anything, read the prompt. Whatever the prompt is, take your time to read it. If you have to read it more than once, it would benefit you to do so. Now, our literary response requires a careful, critical look at the reading. Whatever it is, let's say for instance you're reading To Kill a Mockingbird, or you're reading poetry, uh, The Raven, things of that sort. You have to understand what it is that you're reading, and your literary response, it requires again a critical look at the reading. Get ready to color your world, ladies and gentlemen. How to write an effective paragraph. Materials. When we write, we will use highlighters. Blues for the topic sentences, or TS, and the concluding sentences, which is be used, uh, seen as a CS. Red is for concrete detail, CD. Green is for the commentary sentences, CM. So, again... Again, blues for the topic sentences and the concluding sentences, TSCS. Okay, red is for the concrete detail, CD. Green is for the commentary sentences, CM. Step one, what is a topic sentence? This is vitally important. A topic sentence, or a TS, is the top bun of a hamburger. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a hamburger. Okay. TS, first sentence of the body paragraphs. It shows the main idea. Okay? Let's keep going. Example of a topic sentence, TS. Number one. In the fairy tale, the three little pigs, the third pig is very wise. Again, this is our topic sentence. It tells us what we're going to be writing about. Step two. What are concrete details? Concrete details are the meat of the hamburger. Okay? Concrete details support your topic sentence, your facts, your quotes, your examples, etc. from the text. Something that you have taken from your reading and that's going to be applied to the text, from the text, as your support for the topic sentence. That is the meat of the hamburger. Concrete details cannot be argued. A concrete detail is evident that supports your point. Again, it is something that you have taken from the text. Quotes, examples, text, things of that sort. Example of your concrete detail, the CD. For example, remembering his mother's warning about a wolf, he builds his house out of sturdy brick. Again, concrete detail. You can't argue that because, again, this is something that was taken directly from the text. What is commentary? Commentary sentences, or CM, are the extras on the hamburger, okay? The tomato, the cheese, the lettuce, the... It's everything that makes your paragraph delicious. It's everything that makes the hamburger delicious, okay? It is your analysis interpretation, explanation, or just your insight is basically what you took from the text. And this is what's going to make your paragraph that much better because you're going to take your topic sentence, your concrete detail, and then you're going to put all the fixings in it with your commentary. Example two, the wolf is unable to blow down the brick house. Number four, this shows that the third pig is smarter than his brothers, who were both eaten by the wolf. Again, here's a commentary. Not only is this, you're taking this directly from what you heard, you're giving it a little spin on it by saying, 
the third, this shows that the third pig is smarter than his brothers who both were eaten by the wolf. What is a concluding sentence? Okay? A concluding sentence or a CS is the bottom bun of the hamburger. You have to be able to make this thing come together and be complete, and it's the bottom bun. A concluding sentence wraps up the paragraph. It rephrases the main idea. So as we saw in our topic sentence, we had something about the three little pigs. What, uh, what, they, what we're going to do, then we went from there, went to our concrete details, and all those type of stuff. Now the concluding sentence. The concluding sentence is going to wrap this all up and make it nice and neat and just as delicious. Example of concluding sentences. Starts with in conclusion. That lets us know that this is concluding. In conclusion, the third pig outsmarts not only his brothers, but the big bad wolf as well. And again, this is tying everything together. He remembered what his mom said. He built his house out of a brick. And in doing so, he was the one to survive. Why? Because the third pig outsmarts not only his brothers, but the big bad wolf as well. Topic sending, concrete detail, commentary, concluding sentence. Now what? What is chunking? Okay? A combination of the CDs and the CMs is called a chunk. For a literary response, we will use a combination or ratio of one to two. So for every one concrete detail, you will have two CMs, commentaries. Okay? One chunk, one CD plus two CM. Okay, for example, remembering his mother's warning about the wolf, he builds his house out of a sturdy brick. The wolf is unable to blow down the brick house. This shows that the third pig is smarter than his brothers who were both eaten by the wolf. Concrete detail, remembering what his mother's warning about the wolf, he builds his house out of sturdy brick. Okay, commentary, making it even that much better. The wolf is unable to blow down the brick house this shows that the third pig is smarter than his brothers who were both eaten by the wolf. This is called chunking. We have taken a concrete detail out of the commentary, and it's all making our burger that much better. The ratio was one to two. What are transitions? A good paragraph will also use transition words. These are words or phrases that help readers connect your ideas. Okay? Okay. Example of transitions. For example, thus, for instance, furthermore, hence, consequently, as a result, therefore, these are all words that are going to make your paragraph not only grow, but it's going to make it more interesting. We're going to transition from one idea to the other, okay? Next slide, please. Does it flow? That's one of the most important questions about writing. Does your writing flow? Okay? Now you know how to write one chunk paragraph. Let's eat. Here we go. A whole paragraph. In the fairy tale, the three little pigs, the third pig is very wise. That is our topic sentence. Tells us what we're going to be talking about. For example, transition. Remembering his mother's warning about a wolf, he builds his house out of a sturdy brick. Okay? Commentary. The wolf is unable to blow down the brick house. This shows that the third pig is smarter than his brothers who were both eaten by the wolf. In conclusion, transitioning to the end, the third pig outsmarts not only his brothers, but the big bad wolf as well. So again, as you see, what we've done is taken James Schaefer and put it into something that a small little, pair, a small little PowerPoint that allows us to see how we build a paragraph. The top bun, topic sentence, then you have the concrete details, the commentary, and then in conclusion. At the end of it, everything comes together as a burger should, and it makes it delicious. 